On example five, so this is an expressions question and it's been increasingly popular on the SAT lately. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll ask students if they know how to do it. Now, technically, you could add this to the other side and cross multiply and that'd be really easy. But I try not to bring that up unless they notice, which is rare. Um, because they, on the SAT, you do need to know how to just do rational expression questions, just even if there was no equal sign, just how to simplify that. So um, first I'll see if they know how to do it. And if not, I'll kind of teach them using a simpler example, typically this. So I'll ask them, hey, well, what's three fourths minus two thirds? And they'll say we need a common denominator. And so they'll say we need to multiply this side by four and this side by four and this by three and this by three. Pretty much all my students know that. So then we get nine over 12 minus eight over 12. And that equals one over 12. Most students know that. Now I say, okay, well, I brought up that because we were subtracting fractions. And what are we doing here? We are also subtracting fractions. So then I'll mention that notice. In this particular case, to get the common denominator, didn't we multiply each side by the other denominator? And then this side was multiplied by the other denominator. And then they'll be like, yeah. And then I'll say, okay, well, the same thing happens here, even if the denominators are kind of weird looking. So of course we need to multiply this side by X minus two and this side by X plus two, technically on the top and bottom to get that common denominator in order to subtract. And then the last thing that I'll tell my students is that this negative here, so the biggest mistake that students make is they'll distribute the three to both of these and they'll get like minus three X minus six. But that would be wrong because the correct way to do this, I always taught my students as a teacher to make this plus and put the negative here so that you need to distribute it to both. It should be negative three X plus six. Okay. So if I actually do this problem out, I would end up with 5x plus 10. Uh, and again, I turn it into a plus and put the negative up here. So then it'd be minus 3x plus 6 all over that uh, kind of common denominator. Equals 0. And then they'll typically combine the like terms on top and they should end up with 2x plus 16. And again, I never outright kind of tell the student what to do next. Um, I just give them a kind of separate example. So a lot of students get stuck here. They don't really know what to do with this fraction set equal to zero. So I'll typically write a, a example and I'll be like, hey, well, what if, what if two X minus one over five equal two? What would you do then? And they'll say, oh, well, I would multiply both sides by five. And I say, oh, so anytime you have a fraction, you just multiply both sides by the denominator and they'll be like, oh yeah, that makes sense, right? So then, and, and then I'll emphasize that, well, zero times anything is still zero. So while this cancels out over here, this just still ends up equaling zero and we end up with two X plus 16 equals zero. And then of course you can easily solve from there and x would equal negative eight. But knowing how to do expressions is super important on the SAT and that's the first example that I used to introduce it.